Time to work on the beast. So, me and John, fortunately he's unable to be here, but uh, we purchased a set of wheels because these tires, while they still have plenty of tread on them, they're dry rotted and, and I don't trust them on a road trip. These will stay with the vehicle as in, we're not getting rid of them. We're just not gonna be using them currently. Um, I got a master cylinder coming. That had to be special ordered, so it takes some time. They're cheap though. And the springs, yeah, so. Overall, this thing has lots of movement. So yeah, this thing is, uh, you know, it wallows all over the road. I want firm, confident feeling, you know, a quick reaction to obstacles in the road, whatever. Just, I want road confidence that I have, you know, with my Firebird. So, I got two inch lowering big block springs. Thing with the Buicks is, well, the Buick big blocks. Unlike Pontiac, they had a small and a big block. Uh, Buick big blocks are very lightweight. They weigh less than a Pontiac 400 or 455. And that weighs less than a Chevy big block. So... I don't remember exactly what a Chevy 454 weighs, but a Pontiac 455 weighs a little bit less and a Buick 455 weighs even less. Therefore, it will be a little on the firm side if you're using Chevy big block springs for an Impala. Um, plus, they're going to be two inches lower. I don't know how that's going to work out, but these, it might actually work out exactly as it stands right now because these are the original springs, or at least I think they are, being that this is a fairly low mileage car. So, fresh springs would raise it, but then the two inch drop would, you know, counter that. We'll see how that works. Jack sand. Definitely not getting rid of these wheels. They're hub centric. They're quality. These tires though, well, they're worthless. Check this out. So, you see that groove? What that means is unless they're making really nice reproductions, these are original rotors. And this is the pin style caliper. I'm gonna just replace them. And you got something this old, it's safer to replace them than risk something going wrong. Moment of truth. Ooh, that was. Man, them wheels look small. They look really small. It's a big automobile. Those are not small wheels. Well, they're 18s. But that's a 255 40. We're not even putting 35 series on there. So, they got a little bit of meat to them. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Sometimes. before you can do any work at all. You gotta do quite a bit of excavating.
hate using these because they ruin the boots, but that was necessary. So, what you need is a nice firm place. This doesn't always end well, by the way. So, you know, your mileage may vary. It's free. To do what it needs to do. trick is getting a spring out of here safely without dying. That's gonna take some doing. trick to this. You just have to be incredibly careful. So, the Buick is done. Wow, never mind, sorry. I misspoke. The front spring swap is done. Threw the front wheels on there. You know, being how heavy station wagons are, big block and Paula springs aren't any stiffer, I don't think. I think these are big block and Paula springs. So, Man, these giant vehicles, they just swallow up these wheels and make them look small. On the rear, it rubs on the frame rail, so I'm waiting on my uh, spacer. I'm gonna have to use a 5x5 adapter an inch. Because, I mean, it sits okay. Those are 275 millimeter tires on the rear. Much bigger than the 215s that were on there. They're just not as tall. And these are 255s on the front. So they're big enough to be confident on the road small enough that they're I shouldn't eat too much gas uh, I need a new sway bar end link over there but uh, I don't know I think it looks good but like I said the rears are gonna come out so y'all have a good uh, Veterans Day thank you all for anybody who's in the service right now or has served if you have an old uncle that served in Nam. Go ahead and tell him I said hi and thank you for me. But y'all have a wonderful day.